TV. Uh, this is another edition of the Top Twenty Nation. With me, your host Kauso Baji, and with me in the studios, I have uh, a panel of guests. I'll allow them to introduce themselves. But the topic of discussion today will be on the Tobacco Control Act 2016 and the ban. And the other details are probably that if time will permit us. Uh, in the studios, I have Mr. Sanko. Mr. Sanko, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much, Kauso. Um, hello, viewers. Uh, my name is Lan. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, with me, we have uh, Mr. Jai. I know they always call him ASP. <laughs> ASP Piano of the uh, Gambia Police Force. Welcome to Star TV. Thank you very much for having us. Um, like you have said, I am Superintendent Lamin Jai, the Public Relations Officer of the Gambia Police Force. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, next week uh, in the studios, uh, the representative from Health. Uh, sir, you're welcome. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Mr. Singate, first, I think we will start with you. When we talk about tobacco control, uh, generally we've been hearing this name of tobacco before control itself. Uh, based on some of the personal discussions that I have with some individuals, someone told me, he said, why is government doing more efforts to stop tobacco when tobacco acts as a stimulant to actually help people to be stressed? Because uh, probably you have a daunting job uh, task at workplace, uh, probably you have uh, some family issues, uh, probably you are an athlete and you are into so many issues, you use tobacco as a stimulant to ensure that you can calm that situation. Why is the government trying to put more emphasis to ban this? First, does actually tobacco, can tobacco act as a stimulant to uh, as, uh, act as an agent to distress people? As an enhancer, tobacco as an enhancer to enhance people to do their more work more effectively. That is a misconception, a very gross misconception. In fact, tobacco is the reason for their that distress, for their that uh, uncomfortable condition, because tobacco has a substance in it called nicotine that when you become addicted to it, uh, it, it, it creates its own receptors in the blood system, in the body, that whenever those receptors are opened and they want to bring in or they ask for nicotine and you are not bringing nicotine to them, you are in that distress, you are not comfortable, you become uneasy, you become excited, you become easily irritated, you become stressful. So tobacco is the one that is causing that stress, but it's not a stress reliever for that matter. Tobacco is not a stress reliever, but instead it is an agent that is actually making the stress. Uh, probably this might be the reason why if they don't get it, they feel stress, and once they get it, they feel at ease. Exactly. It is It is not a stress reliever. It is the one that is causing the stress. But like I said, because of the nicotine uh, that is required by the, blood, by the blood cells, and you are denying the blood cells of the nicotine, you become stressful. You become uneasy. That is the cause of their uneasiness. That is the that is the cause of their stress, and that is the reason why they want to consume more and more and more cigarettes, so that the nicotine will be replaced in their system. But can it act as an agent to actually increase somebody's endurance? Like if you are a teacher, you have like 46 students, uh, 50 students in a classroom, and then probably uh, you one point in time feel that you're tired. Taking cigarette, can it actually act as uh, a way to, to boost up your endurance? No, tobacco has no benefits whatsoever. Health, energy, or whatever benefit you think of, tobacco has no such benefit. It has no effect on the human system, whether it's energy, whether it's health, whether it's uh, uh, any other stimulant issue. It has no effect on the human system, no benefit for that matter. So it cannot serve as an enhancer or an energizer for anybody. The only thing tobacco serves is because of the nicotine, you are addicted to it, your body needs nicotine, those receptors are open. You become uneasy, you become stressful, you take it, you feel that ease because those receptors are now closed. So you now become relaxed, you become easy because you have, you have, you have taken in what the, the, the nicotine receptors in your system wanted at that time. That is to give them more nicotine. So you become relaxed, you become free, and then you are 
desire to do or to continue whatever you are doing. But in fact, tobacco uses reduces your energy. It brings down your energy level. It doesn't increase your energy. It makes you more tiring because it blocks your chest. It blocks the air sacs called the alveoli in the in, in the lungs because uh, not only nicotine but tobacco has other substances, chemicals in it that affect the air sac. One of them is called tar. Tar is the one they use in road construction. Uh, that black liquid substance. Tobacco has that. Cigarettes has that. So when you are taking that, uh, when you are taking in cigarettes, it goes in with that tar. So it blocks those air sacs in the lungs, and breathing becomes difficult for you as more and more nicotine is de uh, or tar is deposited in the lungs, you find it very difficult to breathe, you find it very difficult to conduct heavy exercise. Exercise that demand a lot of energy intake, uh, a lot of energy output, uh, or a lot of breathing. I, I would tell you one thing that when you observe smokers, you will say, yes, this is, this is I observe this in, in, in people. Somebody that smokes heavily, observe, or maybe pay attention to it, if they want to laugh, they will start the laughter. At the end of the laughter, it will all be coughing. Yes. This is very, That's very com common. prominent in smokers. That's very Why common. are they coughing? Because they are not getting enough oxygen to continue the laughter. They are not getting enough air from the lungs to support the laughter. They have to end up with cough. So cigarette has no energy, energy given effect to human body. It only harms the individual. Now we can hear that. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Singate, uh, for putting light on some of those uh, misconceptions. Uh, this is a personal discussion that I had with someone, and I actually promised the person that uh, you can follow the program. Uh, we will ensure that the help people will put uh, more clarity, uh, clarity on that. Uh, Mr. Sonko, tobacco control had been a name that we've been hearing for so long. Uh, Mr. Sonko is from Red de Gambia. Red de Gambia had been a pioneer institution in the Gambia fighting against uh, tobacco. Why tobacco control first? Uh, thank you so much, um, uh, Kausu. Um, uh, tobacco, I mean, because uh, this is a very important question. Uh, some will actually ask most of the time, and then they will try to quote some other issues or some other things around. Um, they said, maybe before you, uh, why are you focusing on tobacco? There is alcohol there, there mm -hmm. are other things there. Yes, they are all important. But, you know, looking at the magnitude of, 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 of uh, uh, implications that tobacco has, is not compared to alcohol. So, so, but because we're talking about tobacco, um, you see, tobacco alone, you know, um, I, I actually like to, to, to make some uh, comparison here and there. Yes. We, we were talking about COVID-19. COVID started sometimes in December in 2019, mm -hmm. and then everybody is scared. And, and as of now, it's about 3 million people. Just 3 million people died of COVID. Uh, that is how I put it. Just uh, two days ago, BBC was saying, I, I, sh I was following on BBC, they said, just two, uh, they said 3 million people died and people are not worried. I said 7 million plus people are dying every day on tobacco. And people seem normal. Seriously? So, so I mean, that is global. That's the global death. Oh. Over seven million people dying of just a product that we can put a stop into, and that this is something that we can we can control. Okay. Why do you think we can control tobacco? Because already, uh, Mr. Singate had highlighted. Yeah. It seems the more you take it, the more addictive you become. Sure. So actually, it becomes very difficult to stop. Exactly. So, so uh, this is important. I know the, the companies are powerful. Absolutely. Um, that is one of the reasons why it is making, because they have money, and money is power. That is one of the reasons why I believe, uh, um, I mean the big manufacturers. I mean. So that is one of the reasons why it is making it difficult for globally, for, for it to stop generally. So, but one thing is that because it's a legal product, it is not illegal. Yes. So unless it is considered illegal, then it can be banned totally. But for now that it is legal, that's why we come up with national policies and laws in order to regulate it. And one of it is about the law that we have. So because it is legal, and in the country we have people that use tobacco and those that do not use tobacco. And you know, we have to be very much fair enough to say that, look, we're not telling those that are smoking not to smoke. 
if they if they decided to quit Israel and build, and that is what we're looking for, because we need a healthy people to drive this nation, that is to take the nation forward, to help in the national development. So, but again, in as much as those that are smoking want to smoke, and they will call it enjoy their smoke or whatever, it is also the right of those that are not smoking to breathe an air that is not contaminated with the smoke from the smokers. Okay. So now we need to draw this line to say that, look, yes, in as much as you want to enjoy your right, you cannot infringe on other people's right. So we have, for example, if you look at the statistics, we, we have closely about 300,000 plus people, based on the statistics that we have, about 16 point something, if we convert that, 16.7, I guess, based on, based on the, uh, is it the GYTS? 2010. 2010, but this was 2010. Yeah. So maybe it could be like, uh, 300 to 400,000 smokers, active smokers. Active I mean. smokers. So and that is in the Gambia? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but we have a population of close to 2 million or more, mm -hmm. which means those that are not smoking are more than those that are smoking. Yes. So, you cannot be enjoying your right and infliction on other people's rights. So, it is important that government draw this line. And it, um, it is good that we have laws in place that is trying to regulate these two parties, that is the smokers and the non-smokers. So that is why I said it is important and it can be controlled, obviously. It can be controlled before we will come to uh, PRO on the issue of the enforcement. Still, why can't you make it that much easy? That if you know you, you don't smoke, always do away from the smokers. But instead, we've seen the law uh, seems to be uh, actually putting a bigger percent of the burden on those that are smoking, that you don't have a smoking-free zone. But if, uh, for example, Kausu is smoking and Sonko comes in, instead of Sonko moving, it is now Kausu who should move because I am the one smoking. It, you don't think you are putting too much burden on the one who is smoking? Yes. Uh, the ultimate idea of the tobacco control law, entirely, the ultimate idea is to stop smoking. But we are not putting that in the law because it is the right of those that are smoking to smoke. So if you look at the provisions in the law, one is about smoking and violence. That is to ensure that if you are smoking, like we say, you need to look for the difference. There are other measures beside this. Because there is another measure that is talking about packaging and leveling of tobacco products. That is, the products are going to be packaged in a way that, that is going to be held to one another. There is another provision that talks about the package of uh, advertisement promotion and sponsors. That they will no longer uh, advertise their tobacco products. There is another one that prohibits sales of tobacco products to and by mind. You cannot sell to parents under 18, and they cannot also sell on behalf of their parents to short tickets. And there is a provision that also uh, talks about sales of prohibition of sales of single sticks, packets less than 20 sticks. So which means you must sell 20 sticks above. It, it, must, it must be packets. You yes. cannot buy less than 20. 20 sticks. So making all these measures. Is important. So, yes, if you said a packet, I think one, one, one of my research actually saw earlier, there were smaller packets. Mm. So what will happen to those packets? Those ones are no longer coming. Okay. It's banned. It's no longer coming. In fact, the last container that came was, was intercepted at DRA, and then it's still there. So it used to be other product, like let's say VIP used to have a smaller packet. SAR used to have a smaller packet. Foster used to have but I mean, I'm no longer seeing Foster. So because Things are still. SAI is now building bigger packets. VIP is building bigger packets. So if they want to continue their business, it has to be in line with the regulations and the rest of the So the smaller packets are no longer coming. And single stages of single stick is also coming. The ultimate idea is to make it difficult, making it a burden on those that are doing it, those that are smoking, so that they can quit. And the benefit goes back to the state because the medical expenditure that this state will do, the state will do terms of uh, curing those that are affected with health conditions like the non communicable diseases like the diabetes, the hypertension, the cancers, the cardiovascular diseases and so on. You know, cancers many times, specifically lung cancer. You see? It's, it's important that I mean we look at it in that in that in that manner. So that that, that body will be actually no, no longer be on on the state. And instead by before putting that a lot of money in treatments and politics. People have been put in other development areas. Sure. That is very important. Uh, PRO here. Yeah, I want to say more. That is a bit of my view. Why, why tobacco? Why are countries focusing on tobacco? Okay. Uh, if you look at uh, tobacco,
tobacco in general, tobacco use, tobacco cigarette smoking and tobacco use in general has been, in, the people have been engaged in this activity for decades, for, for centuries. For I centuries, guess. absolutely. Yeah. But tobacco control came in just maybe in the last three decades or so. Why? Because scientists and health workers have realized that tobacco use is related to so many health complications. In the U.S., they conducted research. Many people died. People working in the in many industries, in the aviation industry, and so many other places where tobacco they are exposed to tobacco smoke. They develop diseases, and scientists discovered that those diseases are as a result of their exposure to tobacco, okay. either directly or indirectly. That is from secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke. Hand smoke. So the, because of that... A new terminology. Yes, the, we will get to that. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Hand smoking. Exactly. You can add that. Mm -hmm. Because of that, they said we need to control tobacco. Because so many people died. Like Lami Sunko has highlighted earlier. Uh, right now, we are talking about uh, almost 8 million people dying annually from tobacco use. Tobacco-related illnesses. And tobacco is, is, is a risk factor to many diseases. That is why the World Health Organization and tobacco or health, health advocates worldwide deem it necessary to control tobacco because it is a risk factor to so many diseases and most of these diseases are chronic. They are long-term diseases. You can be with them for a very long period of time and they are not curable. They are treatable but they are not curable. For example, the, like the non-communicable diseases, diseases that are not transferable from one person to another by, an, by a causative agent, by an agent. For example, we know in malaria, uh, the, the the pathogen there is the plasmodium parasite. We know it is caused by the, the vector is the mosquito and the parasite is the plasmodium parasite. So we know that. But for example, in diabetes, we don't know. Those such agents did not exist there. Okay. In hypertension, such agents did not exist there. So tobacco causes diabetes, it causes hypertension, it causes cancer, it causes respiratory illnesses like asthma. So this is why the WHO and Ministry of Health were over said we need to control tobacco because it is a burden on health, it is a burden on economy. This is why we are up to fight the industry. Okay, uh, we, will, we will come to uh, the other part of it that is more into the health aspect uh, before getting into the economic aspect of it. But, uh, let's look at it. Uh, a substance that is legal but under control. The police actually is the agent that is actually uh, mandated by law to enforce the laws that are existing. Uh, how do the police uh, find it difficult? I know one thing that actually we have seen reduce is uh, students uh, actually, it seems since this law came in, in effect, that is no longer selling of uh, sticks, single sticks or packets less than 10. We've seen actually a bigger reduction in with students, more specifically minor students, uh, buying cigarette to smoke within within a school but outside the school campus. That we've actually seen a bigger achievement on that. But as the police unit, how uh, difficult do you find this to enf to enforce the control of a substance that is though legal but prohibited? Uh, very well. Um, thank you very much once again. Um, uh, like the health personnel and. The tobacco control um, um, department that's the red department have been mentioning um, there are several issues that are connected to tobacco smoking and its intake now the Gambia police force as an institution is mandated by the constitution of the Gambia to enforce all laws um, let's say for example we have four cardinal func um, functions or mandates as far as the um, laws of the Gambia are concerned, which includes the maintenance of all laws and order. Now, the Tobacco Control Act is a law of the Gambia, you know, as of now it is in effect already. In fact, the Gambia Police Force had issued a declaration to the people of the Gambia some time ago to inform people about the fact that this law is into effect and that the police will enforce this law. Now, um, like you mentioned, when it comes to the enforcement, enforcement goes along with advocacy as well. Um, that will help to deal with the, what you are talking about. That is in terms of um, the difficulty in enforcing the law, of course, because when people don't understand a particular law, it's very difficult to enforce that law because it means you have to employ such other uh, punitive measures that might, at the end of the day, be counterproductive. 
and so it is important that a lot of advocacy is done and that's why i'm so glad and happy to be part of this panel with you Kausu, you are um, uh, moderating which obviously is going to add to um, the and, uh, um, um, sensitization and awareness creation among the public so that people will understand that this is a law now and so when police come out to enforce the law they should understand that they are not just coming to tell people to stop doing what they want to do but it is about letting people understand that we all have agreed as far as a country is concerned and we have enacted a law through our national assembly and this law is into effect which means that we have all submitted to the fact that we will accept this and we will abide by it so you don't need to push and pull or fight with a police officer that tells you don't smoke in public or don't sell a particular tobacco product because it is prohibited so i think uh, like that the burden and that is the difficult aspect of it will definitely be dealt with but then we want to inform the public that the Gambia police force is coming up with a robust operation. You know, we are into Operation Zero, and probably yeah. um, the next operation will be Operation Stop Smoking. And so we will know what title to give that operation. But we want to inform people to understand that we are coming up with an operation and will ensure during that operation public smoking is dealt with accordingly. Uh, we've seen an achievement uh, since we saw the actually uh, the police came up with a communique uh, actually which was aired on many of the televisions in the Gambia and uh, probably on radio stations but I know I've followed it into two three different TV stations we've actually seen the impact on st uh, minor students uh, because uh, earlier uh, you you sometimes see students started sm start smoking even at primary school uh, by the time they are at grade five six they will start smoking that is at the lower basic school but now we've seen if you're actually getting ten dollars to go to school if you're not paying transport actually you cannot actually gather that right. to buy a, ten, a packet of 20 sticks right. so which had actually been an achievement and seeing uh, a police officer doing that video had actually impacted uh, because I know when we were much younger, uh, even if we want to do wrong and they will tell us the police officer is coming, sometimes we tend to continue being stubborn. But by the time we saw a police officer or someone in a police uniform, we know, hey, something is actually happening. So that video had actually added weight. Uh, uh, how much of such videos will the police be willing to do? I know this one will also add weight. Uh, today that we have the PRO in full uniform, also talking about also the prohibition of uh, public smoking. Very well, the advocacy will continue. In fact, the operation that I'm talking about has an advocacy component within it. Uh, we'll have operatives on the ground that will go all out to ensure that they deal with people who are smoking in public. That is part of it. We'll have all the, the operation will cover all the regions of the Gambia. You know, we have police regions as well as the same regions that we have. We also have police regions accordingly. And so we will be spreading the operation across all the regions of the Gambia. And so this operation will go along with advocacy to ensure that we keep giving people updates and information about what is done during the course of the operation, which will all feed in ultimately into the fact that people must change attitude, especially when it comes to their smoking habits. Like he mentioned before, um, it is the fact that the tobacco is not an illegal product which means you have rights as far as the law is concerned to smoke. In so far, you are observing the, um, uh, the, the regulations as far as smoking and um, uh, public smoking is concerned. If you do that, you may not have any problem with the law. But if you violate the um, um, provisions of this law, then you have committed an offense and that will be dealt with. It's good that you mentioned something about children, and that is the fact that there is tremendous achievement when it because the law has made it difficult to purchase cigarette at any point in time and so therefore or tobacco products and so therefore that has helped students to be a um, to, to the students to not be able to get the tobacco products as they used to and that's one thing but also importantly parents need to understand that they cannot use minors to transact or deal with cigarette that too is an offense and so um, you might find some um, children that definitely they don't use the cigarette on their own means or accord 
but they are elderly people or parents or so are the ones that are putting them into it. It's either the selling or the buying or the usage or any other thing. And so that is something parents also need to be very careful about because the law and this law has covered all these things. And so people need to be very aware of this. Uh, we will shift a little bit into Wolof. I think Piero will help in this because sometimes you go to shopkeepers who will actually be busy and allow their children under 18 to handle the shop for them, which is normal. But actually, if it involves the selling of tobacco, then it becomes prohibited. Uh, that is important for Piero to clarify, uh, to actually mention in Wolof. Uh, Piero, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 Ndaoni, purbunge na jige leblinga hamantene loi hato tobacco la wala cigarette. Wanti, ninga hamantene nuno linko muna firndele. Tay, linga hamne piaro wana kolegi ni chikala mai angal. Ni buga mul delu wachirek chilinga hamne mumai chikala mai olof. Sunyo e chiwa la linga hamantene. Tayji, borom bitekbi, yange jai saibir. Gaji bayi sa dombi, hini sa loko japa na gaji bayi sa dombi jaya la. Fik sa dombi, mungi jaya linga hane luwa nangu na korek, lulu wacho diyon. Wai nak su feke ni demna binga hamantene khale bi, ama gudu linga hamantene mumwe fuka jiro mnyeti at, kon kuku amu luwa bi meyut kodole pur mu jaya lu heto ak sigaret, ak bepu fason bu munti doon, pia ro buga nengga leran fuf. Jere jef, nengga la has niyo si program bi, kom nengko wahe wandre, naka mel ni sun wahe aferum si tabako, Set setan kat yang punya nyaw a polis a tobacco luda polis itu dia afer tobacco. Why I'm I'm not sure about new I'm lera askan bine tobacco control at luar la legisi kami te luar bobo no 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 bobo my polis dollar for new gisne dohal neng luar pasca real real ni kami sen luar lingkungan yang orang mui luar bun am polis ini nyaw kuar dohal. Suka defe nak konsul ame luar bumen tobacco control at con jana polisi jok gisne niti tapa nendua bobunu lolo mota mnye wasi walum cigarette biwa la tobacco products i program wana niti ne lua wakut ne tobacco dafu bond kenwaru ko la wala kenwaru ko wano kenwaru tatu wa hina klim limteral moi dafu am anambo hamne nonga wara tuhe sufeke danga boga dafu ndeko tobacco so suka defe na kuyu Kui tuh cigarette, walau lu jemu nun, nangah hamne, fonga ham luabi, suka defen ni di men lat nu ham luabi, lala teral ag lala baik, suka defen nak nu ye one ni di ne, smoking in public, moy di tuh simbolo, lu lu dapat men luabi dapat kotera, suka defen nak ko hamne yang ni tuh simbolo, ngah hamne, sula polis jati di men la tek si ate kai bi pastor, nangah ya ham luagam ya. Suka defen nak hal yang hitam, amnu solo puru wajuri nyuham. Kami wahon ngaku siza wafi nesa. Amnu jendam pas ke lagi hal yang itu dia jendam segar pas ke jendam segar pire bi dapat yoga. Suka defen nak lagi hal yang itu dia am jek. Wahen nak lagi nak am solo tamil mui nak magi ham nene. Waru nyu duga hal yang si walum segar walau lu tobacco product. Dapat main ni bunuh lo yori sa dom, walau mawar lo ko yoni muda 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 jinar segar, walau sa raka muda muda jinar segar, walau dila ko yobul fener, walau diko jaya dila ko jaya. Suka defe lo ni jep litah mui pulgis nak halai sorry neng am am segar ni. Suka defe suin ko sorry dingko ham, suin ko ham mud nak dingko jepan neko. So lo lo muda kon dengar gis ni in in the future neng am halai yo ham ni dun ham segar sa walau diko jepan neko. Wah nak sun amel magi di Google halal isu lulu lulu dapat amel ni berlegi dengan konten di khair. Wah nak amna solop wajur ini ham lulu suka defe nak bun am problem apa? Jere Jeff Piero Njai lulu lerna. We will come to Mr Singate. In 2019 December, a very strange visitor. We thought it was going to be a visitor on the whole. It seems he's here to stay. Covid 19 actually visited the whole world. But one thing that we have actually seen, uh, still on the misconceptions and generally the, the, the health issues, uh, does actually COVID-19 
or smoking can it be a way to actually uh, probably fight COVID-19 because yeah. you will hear people will tell you uh, smoking would actually and so that it goes into your system and create some amount of heat there. So because COVID-19 was actually attributed to a cold environment, yeah. a smoking cigarette or any form of tobacco can it actually reduce your chances of getting COVID-19. Thank you very much, Mr. Bagi. This is a very relevant question because uh, there are so many people that are saying, especially smokers, they say, I won't contract COVID-19 because I smoke cigarettes, so COVID-19 will not infect me or I will be affected by it. But that is a wrong concept, is a very wrong misconception because several studies have been conducted in different parts of the world, especially in Italy, where the virus first hit severely and they realized that people that uh, suffer fatality, most of them, are people that have underlying medical conditions and most of those people also have a history of smoking. So they concluded that smoking and COVID-19 are seriously related. Uh, people that are exposed to smoking, either directly or indirectly, are very vulnerable to COVID-19 because of their weakened immune system. COVID uh, smoking affects the human immune system. It affects your antibodies. It reduces your immune systems. So you will see that when your immune system is weakened, any disease, bacteria, virus, or any sort, when, it, when your body comes in contact with it, 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 it easily overcomes your body and you become affected. So, so right now, what the world is saying, is what the scientists are saying or what researchers are saying that Smokers are very, very vulnerable to contracting COVID-19 and they are likely to suffer severely, to manifest severe symptoms of the disease when they contract the virus compared to other people that are non-smokers and when they all contract the virus at the same time. Somebody that smokes will suffer severely, will manifest severe symptoms than the person who is not a smoker. And therefore, uh, smoking cigarette or any form of tobacco cannot actually prevent you from getting COVID-19. In instead, fact, yes, it makes instead it makes you more vulnerable to contracting the virus, or it makes you more vulnerable when you contract the virus to suffer severely from the symptoms, or you could even die because death cases from COVID-19 among cigarette smokers is very high because of their low immune system, because of their other medical conditions that are attacked. So death in them is very high. Absolutely. Uh, this is clear because we've seen uh, WHO actually coming up with the communique that actually COVID-19 affects more people who has respiratory problems because in fact COVID-19 itself is a respiratory problem. So no one can use uh, smoking as a means of justification to actually fight against uh, COVID-19. Uh, Mr. Singate said so. Uh, when it comes to uh, still uh, the issue of uh, COVID-19 and other, uh, 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 smoking and uh, other health related issues, Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen uh, many a times uh, mm -hmm. people will tell you uh, the reason why I smoke it's because I am poor uh, and then I have like too much meditation mm -hmm. in my mind mm -hmm. and therefore I, I need to actually do that but uh, economically do cigarette or smoking uh, tobacco had uh, some economic impact or more specifically to people that are poor exactly smoking and poverty is like a, a circle if you are poor you are smoking you are going round a circle. You will continue being poor. From where you start, you will end up going there again. So that is why they say smoking and poverty is like a circle. Uh, smoking and poverty are seriously linked, and, and smokers spend a lot of money, especially in low and middle income countries. Uh, researchers say, WHO uh, said that uh, smokers in countries like the Gambia spend 10% of their daily income on tobacco, 10%. If your earning is like $100, you spend $10 on cigarette if you are a smoker. No one or can more. dispute at that. Least, no one at, can dispute that. At least $10. <laughs> so you see that smoking and poverty is highly linked. And in Gambia, like Minsunko said, we, our smoking population is around 400,000 people. If you, if, you, if you estimate from the 2016 from 2010 survey and the population now which is at 2.2 if you put that into figures it's like around 400,000 people 400,000 smokers we have in this country and that study revealed that 
at least each of those smokers smoke 10 sticks of cigarette, minimum 10 sticks. That's serious. And when you multiply that by 400,000, that is, that is, that is how much? That is 4 million people, we to, uh, 4 million sticks of cigarettes is smoke a day in this country. 4 million sticks of cigarettes is smoke a day. 4 million cigarettes, right now, one stick of cigarette is costing, we are not selling per, mm. per stick, but if you break the pack, one stick will cost you around three dollars, minimum three dollars. Okay. Yes, Minim yeah. it will be three dollars. Yeah. So three dollars is multiplied by four hundred million. How much we are talking? You're talking of twelve million. You're talking of, a, a, million. You're talking of a, an educational project. <laughs> exactly. So, so you can see when people say because the reason why I'm bringing the statistics, we need to count the cost. How much government is generating? How much people are losing as smokers when it comes to their expenditure on smoking? and how much money is government also spending in treating people with tobacco-related illnesses. Yeah, exactly. we have, we have, we there, have, there are allegations that exactly. government is generating, generating more money, money exactly. uh, in actually taxation of cigarettes, and that is why they are not, exactly. they are not actually exactly. directly this, fighting this, it. This is why we need to bring in these statistics so that people see how much government is generating and how much money is tobacco users are spending on tobacco and where is that money going to. When we put these statistics together, people will see that government is generating zero. In fact, they are into negatives. Oh. Because from the GRA revenue, we have access to it. When we demand, they give it to us. What GRA is generating from revenue as of 2019 December or 2020 December, when we get it, is less than $600 million. It's a, it's, as of December 2019, it's around $500 million. That's what Gambia government is generating from tobacco revenue. $500 million. As big as it may seem to people outside, $500 million is a huge sum of money. But now, the amount of money cigarette smokers are spending on cigarettes is in billions. Absolutely. Last time we calculated, is uh, like, like, like I said, 400,000 400, smokers so in the country, and each of them is smoking 10 sticks of cigarette a day, and a stick of cigarette is costing $3. That's like... 12 million dollars is daily. daily. If you multiply that one by 300 <laughs> 360 days, we are talking around 4 billion dollars. 4 that's billion dollars is annually, that is what is spending on cigarettes in this country. That is what smokers are burning. Money that is being spent that is not generating anything back. It's not benefiting anything for the individual that is burning it. In, in fact, it is causing the government to lose more revenue. So that's the amount of money the government, the Gambian, the Gambian people, smokers are losing. When you come to the health aspect of it, the, um, the, the 500 million government is generating, and the amount of money, Ministry of Health is still the government. The government is spending to buy medications, or the families are spending to treat their patients that are suffering from illnesses like cancer, either liver cancer or lung cancer, or other forms of cancers, kidney cancers, or other types of cancers, even brain cancers, esophageal cancers, mouth cancers, throat cancers, and other respiratory diseases, asthma, and other sorts of diseases, diabetes, hypertension. The amount of money they are spending on those people annually, if you look at that, is also into billions, not in millions. So you see government is losing, government is in negatives. It is only the industry that is benefiting from this business. Not the smokers themselves, not the government, but only the industry. Imagine four billion dollars is how many five hundred millions is there? In a, in, a, in a population of two point something million, we it means how about countries with like millions, millions of, of, of smokers? Uh, millions of smokers, they are generating trillions of do, uh, uh, dollars or dollars okay. annually. So the industry is the only winner, person that is winning in terms of this uh, tobacco business. That is why they are making it very difficult for people to stop smoking. That is why they are coming with, with different products. They are making their product to be addictive yearly. The amount of nicotine they are adding to, 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 to tobacco is increasing by year. Annually they increase it so that people will be addicted to it and they find it difficult to leave. They are fi making their products more attractive to young people so that they will be attracted to it and when they start being, at, when they are attracted, they consume it, they become addicted, they find it difficult to leave. That is why they are bringing it different, different products like shisha, like electronic cigarettes, like gums, like, like mint flavors, all other types of flavors, they are bringing it, they are all the same. What is in cigarettes 
that's the same thing that is in shisha that's the same thing that is in in, 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 in okay. electronic cigarettes that is the same thing that is in this uh, uh, product that people chew like the gums like the other tobacco product that people chew and 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 maybe we will get to that part also there is there is one common thing that is also very um, we, we have to talk about it. We have to discuss it. That is the vaginal tobacco. It's, yes. it's very rampant now. People are using it anyhow, and it's causing more havoc to the reproductive system of women, and it is giving Ministry of Health a lot of problems because we are all hearing, we are all seeing from the, on the news everywhere, a lot of complications from... Uh, uh, that is the one that is locally called taba. Taba, exactly. Uh, we, we, we will come to we that. Come to that. So uh, we, they are all tobacco products. We need to discuss this and uh, then, so that people know about it. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Sonko, uh, generally, w when you talk about uh, smoking, uh, Tobacco Control Act 2016, actually, it, it seems a good number of young people have now decided to deviate a little bit into smoking cigarette but using Caesar because it has uh, a very nice flavor. It, in fact, depending on the flavor that you choose. And then secondly, it is also realized that it also help, uh, still I will use the word poor people, uh, middle income earners to ensure that they can actually spend uh, less money when they go to a restaurant and buy uh, other food or soft drinks. Uh, generally, uh, is it the same law that is applicable for Caesar smoking? Yes, thank you so much, Kausu. Yes, um, um, this tobacco control act, the same way that it regulates the stick cigarettes, it is the same way that it regulates the season. The law is saying that no person sh should smoke tobacco products within a perimeter less than 100 meters. For example, if you want to use a scissor, it, it is treated just like the one that you is using stick cigarettes. So oh. you need to move 100 meters. So now the restaurants, the bars, because we've gone around, um, it was a team, Ministry of Health, Red the Gambia, Gambia Police Force, the, uh, National Environment Agency representing from there, and even one of the representatives from GAF, uh, uh, Gambia Armed Force. So we went country round to almost all the restaurants and bars to tell them about this law. Okay. That this law, and, and hotels as well, to tell them, look, this law is here and is, is about smoke-free environment. And this is the same way that Caesars are also treated. So Caesar is treated the same way. For electronic cigarettes, Regardless of the flavor, it is the same. Exactly. Okay. So for electronic cigarettes, it is prohibited. The importation, the sale, the usage is prohibited in the Gambia for electronic narcotic delivery system. Yeah. So just to add on to what Sefo was saying uh, regarding the, the counting the cost, that is how I, I usually like to call it. I, I, we are currently working on some, some, some research, and then we've realized that just 2019, there are about... Um, 86 million cigarette sticks have been smoked in the Gambia. That's serious. That was yeah. what was imported in 2019. And you, you can see the importers are continuing importing. It means before they import, you know that other days for the one has already drawn out. 86 million. 86 million. Sticks. I can tell that is sticks. From, from the data that we received, uh, because we receive a base, each of the importers, the quantity that they have been importing, both uh, uh, the quantity in gross. And, and in cotton. So we know how much each of the importer is importing, including the tax that they have paid in each of uh, their in, 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 uh, in 2019, let's say in 2019 and 2020. And I can tell you, um, just because we know that GRA collected tax, and as Sefo was saying, many are claiming that government is getting a lot of money. That's why they are not actually serious. That is the, that is the claim from many people. But just what Sefo is saying is very true that government is the, the only winner in this game is the industry that um let's say in 20 uh, 2019 uh, less than three percent of the revenue you know yeah they collected the revenue but we have other other uh, uh, state institutions that also have other revenues different from what GRA collected Okay. So just from GRA, because GRA collected tobacco revenue, so compared to the amount that GRA collected in 20, uh, 2019 and 2020, it's less than 3%, because it's, uh, um, 2019 is about 496 million from tobacco tax, and 2020 is 472 million. So 2020, it has reduced a bit. It's because tax... You said in 2020, what was, how much was collected? 
um, about 496. 496 million. Yes, and the, for 2020, for 2020 is 472 because the quantity has also reduced because um, from 2019 to 2020, $5 was added per pack. So as of now, the exercise tax on tobacco is like $30, which means each pack it pays an exercise because there are other tax that are added to it, including the environmental tax and other tax. But so but for exercise duty, is 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 about $30 per pack. So which means that this is a gradual process. Next year it will be 35 yeah. per pack. So which means um, the idea is that when the tax increases, yeah. the, 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 the quantity of importation will reduce. Yes. So therefore, if the quantity will reduce, which means that the products that are smoked, the quantity that is produced, uh, smoked in the country will obviously reduce. So you could see the access, the, pl the, the, the access will also be difficult because the, the price will also go up. Because there is this mechanism by WHO, that is the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. And one of the articles is Article 6, which is talking about price and tax measures. Okay. It means the, if you increase taxes, you must also monitor the prices in the retail it prices. Price. It has to affect it, it, the it, it, absolutely. So every year that the tax, if they increase the tax, when the, there is budget speak, yeah. obviously from January, February, by March, it is affected yes. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the retail so prices. And that so is so. obvious. It's yeah. going to affect the prices. Exactly. So we have been monitoring this, and we've seen that trend. We also seen that there is reduction in terms of the quantity that is imported in the country. Mm -hmm. But better still, there are about 86 million sticks that have been smoked. 86 million. Uh, indeed, uh, it is a huge sum of money that is actually spent on smoking in the Gambia. And uh, many a times, uh, people will tell you, it's my money. Mm -hmm. But we tend to realize now that instead, uh, government is losing more. Because though it's your money, but once you go sick, Many a times uh, you claim that you're poor, you go to a public hospital yeah. where government had actually subsidized uh, the medication that you're going to use. Mm -hmm. And probably another innocent person who has not induced any form of sickness in his or her body mm -hmm. had actually been exposed to it. Yeah. Uh, we really wanted to go into uh, the use of tobacco by women, mm -hmm. but uh, actually we know probably I will arrange another mm -hmm. time for, for, for that. Uh, but. Uh, Generally, in, in, in summary, uh, we will use uh, five to ten minutes just to summarize uh, with the permission of the people in the control room. Uh, generally, in the local language. Uh, of course, we start with uh, Mr. Singate. Uh, Mr. Singate, come now for Nyamindrong, Kasha Kumoto, Konya Jibi, Ninko Tobacco, Wala Taba, Jama Jama, Minkanake Wolum, Unka Mira Le Kodrong, Mansakunda, Abe Nafulo Le Sotokanji, Wala Tina Jama Safoko, Mansakunda, Wala Tina. I must stop. Uh, be near uh, Piero Jaja Jang is a eh, police of an ending uh, cigarette, uh, Sawa Wala, a mere long column tobacco control, a uh, Jama Safoko Mune Wasabu. But a drum, a poor Kumola Sutiando Kamadrum, Ninko a taba, Wala a tobacco. Uh, follow follow munia tinna uh, jamal mi ya lonko e be gambia ya mira ko manso kunda be soto bulo le soto kanje ya rafang sainte ye min fo angale ka ngoto uh, lanjuro le bije nanata manso kunda la karola be lafla dro ngi kuma on ding fay nanata wala karola bar bar ka bak ni mr baji ni ni karo kuma mo jama ka wala fo ni molta ta ka chala fam bandu wala ta fal bal fam bandu kan akabo dana ala fu man sai aya stop aya kunda kanana Man sabi fin sota kanje wala na alte o kala. Bari lafta me mo ma men kala mo kanje wala minti ko. Man sabi man tari fin sota kanje ndo. To tu man sabi kanafu na mo men sota cigarette la karola. Aning man sabi kanafu kodo men bondi ka cigarette. Kurang jar mela lo ka cigarette o ol sabi. O siata bate. Atende bata di na man sabi kanafu kodo men sota kanje. Komi ngafu angale kanafu nyame. Ning ganyo men beje. Well, in America, tobacco is doku, tobacco doku la industry ni well da malika ganye sotoje, but masa boka ganye sotoje, America cigarette sa da man ganye sotoje. Kato kile nito sa sa ta, kato jare kende abunda ekis kisiro yingu ko cigarette sa balal puri keba ya iman sa sa ko kole ala ika 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 sa sa juna le, kato na ko ika doku mengke boka na doku ko koteke, ika soto mengke boka na soto ko koteke. Il a sorti au boulot qu'à contrôler. Il a dimbé à que il a naflo dundi pour y jeter qu'un des assauts de Dieu. Ou à que dimbé à la saïe qu'on m'a laissé. Mais ça, mais ça fait un cas saïe qu'on m'a sorti de Dieu. Car il y a un temps même d'une approche banco et tania. Donc à cause d'une demande à jeter qu'un des cabourons, y a une quand le docteur Olio 
Sasa Sasa Minka <laughs> ngaje uh, police uh, la kunti kol kono killing fintina anin uh, mi yalon ko wolom kibar janjam bundal diamuta kayita ndiko uh, ka kuma se mi yalon ko wolom uh, nin sanjo mi yalon ko wala tambe taten uh, mote segreto wafila ni mi yalon ko wolom uh, killing killing nal wala uh, pakito mi yalon ko amang uh, uh, mi yalon ko wolom uh, 26c ngajele ko aka munta ko sang we ye talari bale nati nana ta dindingol mi yalon ko karambunto dindingol min katanum uh, mi yalon ko wolle be uh, karambungol be mi yalon ko wolle be primary school sang ay uh, talari bale nati to nga kesi kesi ro min ke nana ta ila cigarette sabola bayri uh, pour ye ila do man dingo kafon kafon pour uh, ye kodo soto kana ka wo sang aka koliyay bulu wala tena sang jima fo ngotalata na lonne ko nana ta nin karambungol mi yalon ko wolle be santo ko wo fo sang wo be tenten kanne bare nin keta ko mi yalon ko anafatale baade nya jele ko kom sonko ya fo nyami ila primary objective ka jeko a hani nim ma bali bare en kana saba sabala la la barka bake ko e bijita mi lafta mole mi fa am wolani de ko gambe police force la bunda mi yalon ko ndu ay sembo di la pour ni loi o loi dunda en banko kan jam na taman and wala te nambe scala ko kata kam bi wala taba na la taba jora ngol am lafta mole mi fa am wolani nyinti ko nyin taba loi ni ngafela akata loi te gambe banko kan jam sai am wolani nyinti ko momo amanke ko taba ni loi ya bay le ferem ferem but I start to learn the new tobacco mall in the Taka tobacco money. Start to learn and the world do I will have any do up cocoa and the mobile and the car catalan alumin do up cocoa. Nick at a tobacco mall at Sako left a molly me for ham for my kuma wallet. Taba money and a sub sabala daba dada jama dinkira jama dinkira cat a loud bloody money and a catabacca maji and who moves over for ham. Equinanta jumper la mola me and meter or chemistry is a jumper mola irrela tobacco maji. Ni mo woke me police yo mi pelen kana ma mola mi yalon ko ba sambalam min ka wolen ka je ko jama dinkira taba sabu ay dang ni ka taba saba motor kono ye daha ni ka taba saba marche kono ye daha lopitalo to office to dinkira to e se daha wol be la because lo am songal la nyaw mi je wolen nyinti ko mol mi yalaka dindingol bula taba mala wala ka ki ke ki la bang wala ke sambala la bang wala ka foy na landi jana wala ka wafi yenna bang wol be sa faham ko wo fanan lo wa manta no ni mutata wala bo ke ka isale ta fanan lo wa de lo wa tinya an lo wa kuluro la ra wol be kunna to la so lafta min na wato ti je doro bare sa itan mo la ko police fela min am mam mam baka la mi alon ko ta nakata mo kana je ko nata pou ka mo batan bare lafta mo le min faham wala ni diko lo wa la tinda ta mi alon ko wala bel dandi tabana tabama nyala adu mo de sa kata ni ka tabama iso lo am a uh, baraka bake a uh, piaro njai uh, mr sonko uh, finally in conclusion actually a uh, piaro in fact had actually touched a little bit of that people who had the misconception that my car is my car either it's an office car or it's an individual car you said the last time once you are there alone it is a private car but once you pick even another person either on commercial purpose or on gratis it is a public space sure um you know uh, as you said it becomes a public Please, when you actually have more than one person in the car. And if you want to maintain uh, being private, don't give lift. It's better you don't give me lift and, you know, I stay healthy than you give me lift and harm me. How about in commercial purposes? We've seen people many a times, they will tell you, I, I will smoke, but I'll put my hand outside. It's, 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 it's very wrong. It's, it's prohibited everywhere in all public places. For example, for co commercial places, public transport, we have the vehicles, we have uh, even train stations, we have it here, we have it in the law. Okay. So the law is in a way that even in future, if it happens to have train stations, we will not go back to changes. Okay. So we have it in the train station, the airport, 
Oh. Since walking is prohibited in all these areas, it, you must be 100 meters away. That's what Lord said. Thank you very much. In conclusion, we can start from you, whatever words that you have generally, uh, because we've already indicated that time is up and then we need to actually uh, hold on to this program before uh, the coming of the, of the next program. But generally, your final words. Uh, thank you so much. And I will just like to thank you for organizing this uh, session. Um, generally, uh, just some message to those that are viewers, uh, viewing, brother. Um, just for the smokers, it's better and it is never late to quit. They can give it a try and then it's possible. I know it's difficult because it's addictive, but it's possible and it is never late, late, uh, late to initiate quitting. Never late to initiate quitting. Mr. Singare, your final words yeah, on thank this program. You very much. The same thing I would say to smokers to choose their health than to choose tobacco. Then they choose their health over tobacco. And people should. Everybody should try to make sure that we help police and other law enforcement officers to enforce the Tobacco Control Act because it is a public health act. It is there to protect the health of the public. So let's protect our own health than to wait until we are sick and we go to seek for treatment. Protect prevention is better than cure. Prevention is better than cure. That's Mr. Singate, ASP Njai. Uh, thank you so much. I just want to call on the general public to support and partner and collaborate with the police in the course of the enforcement of the Tobacco Control Act. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that is ASP Njai, Mr. Singate and Mr. Sonko. Uh, still, uh, viewers, I am your host, uh, Kauso Baji. On this edition of the Talk to the Nation, we actually deem it fitting to talk about prominent issues like tobacco control. It is important for each and every one of us to understood, uh, understand, like uh, Sonko said, uh, either Caesar, uh, either the one you call the tabar, that is the one that we locally use, or any form of cigarette, it is prohibited and therefore the same law is going to be applicable. And therefore it is important, no amount of wealth can buy health. Your health matters. Thank you very much. I am your host, Kausubaji. See you another time. Bye-bye.